Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we got the graded cells done. If we go to logistics and room quality, you can see they range from five to nine. Uh, technically, we've got two fives, one six, two eights, and two nines. If we wanted to, we could also stagger that a bit more by adding something in here, so we'd have um, loads of ones and then a couple of twos, maybe threes if we want to push it, but. I don't think we're going to bother. In this episode, what we want to do is pretty much fin finish off this entire um, sub-prison here. So we want to get this row done, this row done, and then all of the flooring put in. So let's just crack on with that. We have seven grand in order to finish this. And I, th I think that's more than enough, really. Especially when you consider we'll get a bit of this done, and then more prisoners and... What not. So let's just go over to materials and then building brick and we, uh, rather, getting brick, not building brick, we already have the building. And we need to mirror this thing here. So it is done there. We'll just place the cell. I'm only going to build the one because obviously this is going to be cloned and then the toilet goes there. And then a light as well goes there with a cell door, jail door, there. So that's going to get built. I will, while I'm here, go for the same thing but up this top bit here. So again, we're just mirroring this so that'll go in there and then we'll have a toilet going there and then a bed in there and then a light right next to the eyeballs and then we will put the wall in then we can just clone the entire thing across all right so we'll speed up to max speed we are currently working on a couple of grants we've got well we're three grants in total actually we are working on reform through education initiative which is almost complete as you can see we've got um, most of it done the only thing we haven't done is build the 20 school desks run 80 percent of that because we can't fit them all in here and we need one prisoner to pass the general education course i was very surprised when i saw that we got the 10 prisoners past the foundation education course in fact i should really check to see just how many have passed let's Let's go over to programs and we want to check out the general education course we've had a total number of people passed uh, sorry 16 finished there we go foundation so 16 of them uh, have finished them but only 13 passed that's an 81 percent pass rate though that's a higher pass rate than i think we've ever had in any of these episodes and there's many of them as well so i'm really impressed with that one i think it does show that without having armed guards wandering around everywhere it is very very useful um for, well it's uh, indeed very um conducive to study which is fantastic so let's just place all of these cells along here now we already have the patrols in so there shouldn't be any great problem i'm just going to go to the end there darn it so <laughs> we just can't get the the last one there not that it's too much of a problem we are going to receive and two prisoners shortly anyway and we do still have people coming up for parole and such so that's fine in terms of the flooring it's pretty much done it's all okay the only thing we need to do really is get some flooring in around here and then in the common room and we also haven't done the cells as well because i haven't yet decided what flooring the cells will have probably if i'm honest though i'm i'm just gonna go for this concrete tile because the concrete concrete tile I think looks the best. I could go with this metal flooring but mm, not really too sure on that one. If we just check the materials here, the concrete tiles are 10, the ceramics 50, that's far too much. The metal floor is 10, marble is 10 but it looks, it doesn't look right. The mosaic floor looks dirty and the fancy tiles. So we're probably just going to go with the concrete. I mean we could, to be honest with you we could just leave it as is with the, with the straight concrete floor there's no reason why we can't do that i'll have a think about that one and at least that's something that we haven't done previously and it doesn't cost us anything so that's okay i don't mind leaving a lot of this uh, the corridor concrete flooring and then altering it but yeah i quite like the way that looks there so there's some more equipment <laughs> that we've had to buy so we're now 3559 generic units of currency in debt but we are going to receive some prisoners shortly there we go we've got a two grand intake and we are receiving 1100 per day we will go over to our intelligence and then informants and we can see we've got a gang member and stalker so we'll just check gangs we now have five red gang members and two green so still blue hasn't got a look in here which uh doesn't really mean much but you know it uh means if red kicks off and wins they're pretty much going to control everything but there there isn't a lieutenant in around here anyway so let's just double check that i'm just double checking this for some reason it seems to want to change over which is very very strange indeed um so we want to check in the intelligence and gangs no see one circle shows that they're just members oh that's just highlighting that the members i believe two circles is a lieutenant and then three is leader so there we are 
So we've got some more money there, and oh, there's a grant completed, which is increased prisoner capacity to over 50. I didn't expect us to get that done, actually, so I'm glad we've sorted that out. I mean, I knew we'd get it eventually, I just didn't realise, I uh, didn't think we'd get it, like, right away um, after doing this little bit, but yeah, I guess we have. So, we will be able to go to utilities, and then we'll be able to build down to there. We will place a water pipe all the way along to there, and we will do the same along there, and it'll be into there. And then what we'll do is run this large water pipe and connect it up, like so. Okay, danger level is increasing, and it's probably to do with food. 27 prisoners have serious complaints. If we double check that, we can see that... Yes, it's food. We've got a very, very high food need. And that's because, obviously, we're trying to do that one there. So that could cause some problems. Although, eat time is now, so they should be getting fed. So that should re be reduced. Yes, so the critical needs and high needs are going down. There will probably still be a fair amount of medium need. This blue bar represents uh, the fulfilment of that need. So you see it's going up and down as people are getting different meals. And we still have prisoners there with a medium need for it. And that probably will stay quite high. What I'm going to do is get some more guards. One, two, three, four. I'm also going to get two more dog handlers because I think it would be beneficial. And we might want to go ahead and put a psychologist here. I think we do now have probably the amount of people that we need to do that. Behavioral therapy, zero in queue. So no, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Right, so back over to cloning. Quick build and clone. Still got that selected anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. And then we'll go down and place all these. And obviously we're going to get all of the people for this anyway, so we shouldn't have a great issue. So that's another release, early release, which means now we should have prison grading. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, so prison grading. The reoffending rate is 0%, so none of them have reoffended, and that's out of 14 prisoners. Prison value is 230,000 generic units of currency with a daily profit of 383. I didn't expect it to be that much. No staff fatalities. Capacity is 55. No deaths in custody. No prisoner escapes. 13 people have been paroled early, although it says 14 have been released. Ah, one have been released regardless of... Yeah, so one has been released because they finished their sentence. But, uh, the rest of them have been released early. And no prisoners have been executed. Punishment is 7 out of 10, so that's quite good. Reform is 6. Security is 3. And health is 0. That, I, that screen there, I believe, is the best... <laughs> we've ever had um normally health is at minus one or two because of drugs uh, we've had no ods as far as i'm aware so far security is quite high which i'm very surprised about because we don't have armed guards walking around and we don't have um snipers or anything like that but i guess we have enough people walking around and we have lockup and such reform is again higher than i expected and punishment is quite high as well. Even though punishment, it's strange. Normally, in policy, we lock up. Or we, we put people into solitary for finding things like um, tools and such. But apparently, we don't for this one. We just lock them down if we find tools. I'm going to keep that all as default then. We could increase these to in try and increase that... Uh, to try and increase that one but i don't think it's really necessary i'm uh, waiting for everybody to go back to the cells and then we're going to do a shakedown so we do have a tool cleanup which is remove the supply of stolen tools and remove the supply of stolen weapons now we will find some things naturally as we uh, search this one there's now triple the number of places than there was previously from when we last did the search so this has actually sped up quite a bit so we're finding things like clubs, finding forks, finding needles. If we go over to last 24 hours, you can see that cell phone was smuggled, smuggled and traded. Ah, yeah, that does say traded. I said earlier, um, last episode, that there was a smuggle bit there. And I thought that was when it was traded over, but no, it does actually say traded. That was stolen. That was, uh, yeah, some... Oh, wow. Loads of grants done. Um... We've got rope, which is stolen from the 
from the Audrey, but we can definitely see that if we go over to Stolen from, where is it? No, 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 Dangerous. Rope, we knew that it was going to come from there anyway. Yeah, so the uh, <laughs> the Audrey or the Laundry has uh, been supplying that. We can see that we found Needle, which was stolen from the infirmary, even though they do have access only on there. Although that doesn't mean they can't go in, it just means that they try not to. So anyway, there we go. Uh, if we go to informants, we can see there's Fearless and other things in there. Lots of gang members in here. We've got Extremely Volatile, which is probably Coombs. Yes, it's Dan Coombs. We expected that, didn't we? And, oh, ex-law enforcement. Mark Venning, right. I didn't spot them. They must have come in earlier. Or, maybe we didn't know about that. That is a possibility. So I'm going to change them straight away to protective custody. And I'm going to stop the shakedown. Because I need him to be moved immediately. Because it is coming morning. And if he's still in here, especially the shower when it's morning, he will not survive that night. Just double checking. I can't see anybody else. There's a potential CI. So Scott uh, Dennington, prisoner number 8829288. Sentenced five years for assaulting an officer. And we will recruit their inf an informant there. General education qualification is... Something they are uh, in a program for. However, you can see the success chance is marginal, to say the least. So there we are. So we've got two grants done. So the gr the grants were, um, it was the tool cleanup and also the inmate nutritional research. So in terms of our regime, now we will alter this. So we definitely want a eat time there, and we want an eat time there, and we want lock up back to there. And obviously our policy will have to be altered as well. Back to medium and medium. And there we go. We'll just unpause it. And hopefully the cooks will be able to cook all this up um, before them, them get here. The rest of them get here. So that is still being built. All of these cells here. I haven't designated that a cell, which is a bit of a shame because I'm going to have to do it manually. But it should be a problem in a moment. Um, we do need to get more of these built, I think. Uh, that person is still has a high need for drugs. The problem is that we we would ideally put them through the... Oh, there's a bit of violence. Ideally, we would put that prisoner through the drug rehabilitation course in the infirmary, but we don't have a common infirmary, so we're just going to have to leave that for now. There's a gang member kicking off. Uh, you can see actually there, there's a, a guard here bringing food to an empty solitary cell. Maybe he's put preemptively p putting that there. <laughs> uh, there's another taser going off. It looks like Adam Patton, or Platten rather, is running after Luke Kimmel. Luke Broken Kimmel. Who's fighting who? They've got attacked staff, and they've got attacked prisoner, attacked staff, found weapons, found drugs. They're a gang member. I don't know whether there's some sort of weird uh, shakedown thing going there like you know you owe us money or something who knows anyway so, uh, just double check the deployment here and there we go it doesn't really matter that I've got that I, they haven't been set because if we go over to intake we're not receiving any min or max sec so there's only one type of prisoner that can turn up speaking of prisoners turning up we now have some more people here if we go over to intelligence, we can see that we have extremely strong prisoner there in the form of Christopher Kenway. And we have two unknown traits of Barb McStabby Grosier and also Devin the Voiceless Vertigo. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, Mr. McStabby, I wonder if I wonder if they've actually got any violent traits. <laughs> Would be ironic if their trip was pacifist, but I don't think that's the case. And oh dear, the warden is calling. And that just reminded me that I didn't put something in there. And that is... Yes, we didn't put sprinklers in there, did we? Right. Okay, we will call in <laughs> from emergencies to fire engines. And those can come along. And we'll need to put that out. That's a problem. I'm... You know what? I believe also I did state at, at one time that what I'm going to do, if I remember, is put some <laughs> extinguishers in here. And um, obviously I haven't remembered. So it's just a case of getting everybody I can 
with hoses to snake them through the facility. And let's get them in there and go. Well, looks like people are still on phones. Yeah, ma'am, yeah. Sorry about the noise. He just puts his fingers in his ear. Yeah. 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 No, no it's a fire. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, burning. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's get someone over there. It is spreading quite far now. I don't think it'll be too much of a problem, this. That should be put out now. And there we go. So thank you very much, fire people. Anti-fire solution systems have been implemented, and it's now just a case of fixing everything, which is normally a simple task. There we go. There's that fixed. And we will have to run some more electrical cable. And there we go. Most of these will be repaired. The rest will be fixed shortly. In terms of deployment, you can see there's all... It's it's thinking it's all different kinds of rooms. It isn't. It isn't. It's just not fixed yet. Once it's fixed, I'll uh, sort that out. The... Looks like the... Looks like the workers are still trying to prioritise this, though, and that's not something I want. I did mention I want to try and get this area finished off completely. I don't know if that'll be the case because I also haven't got any... Well, we can recruit an informant there in uh, Garth Shaw's case. Yes, I I don't think we'll get it completely finished off because I haven't yet got any automatic door openers, and that's something I think we need. So I'm probably going to go for that first, but we'll see. So electrical cable, we'll have to increase to there, and then I believe one went up into this area just to do that. There we go. So most of this is getting fixed. I've placed all of the electrical cable, so it should be sorted now. Unless there's a, a row in that I haven't done. I have ordered them here. Yeah, that should be fine. They should light up shortly. You see there's a lot of prisoners coming down to clean up, which is good. But they are slowed down by these doors having to be opened. I mean, not stupidly slowed down. It's not like a huge, huge problem. But, um... Yeah, it's something that we do want to probably try and fix at some point. Um, speaking of fixing, I know there's a little bit of tiles that are missing there. I think I am going to... I think I am going to leave the cells as the standard concrete. I think that's fine. So these cookers are still not working, but that's because of the rooms. So let's go to canteen. There we go. Kitchen. And that should be fine now. So if I go over to deployment, yes, that's now sorted itself out with your little strange bit here and there. So medsec only. Uh, actually, no. Staff only, that one, isn't it? And we'll get rid of that bit of planning. In fact, most of the planning from here I think we can get rid of now. There we go, there's all our planning. Still haven't got all the utilities put in, and I'm guessing it's that bit there. Yeah, it's that bit there. Prioritise that. There's still some damage. Look at that. Uh, container damaged. Ingredients. Uh, ingredients can't be healed, so there you go. Um, and because of that, we're going to get no food tonight. Oh dear, right, okay. Although, saying that, no, I think it's all be everybody's been fed. That's fine. That's not too much of a problem. Right, so, while I remember then, we want to have sprinkler systems placed in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, obviously, a water pipe, which will connect all of those. We'll run along, and then we'll just connect it there, like so. So, I think that's the only place a fire... I think fire can only appear in the kitchen and in the, in the power station. I'm... Pretty confident in that. You can still get subsidence in different areas, but because of the spacing, we should be immune to that. We should be okay. So, in terms of grants, we do have a, another grant that we can get, which is Prisoner Manufacturing Facility, which I am going to take, but there's no real 
no real hurry to complete that. In fact, there's no real way we can complete that just yet. When we expand, or if we expand, that's something that we will focus on. But that is a very futurist problem. So we got 78 grand and we received 419 per day. We are going to get another 15 prisoners turn up to this facility. Um, that still has not been powered up. I thought I'd done it all, but apparently not. So we just need to get the flooring in. So for the shop and the classroom and the visitation, I think fancy tiles... And indeed, the common room will go for fancy tiles. Um, no, actually. Mosaic in the common room. There we go. So, as far as I can tell, barring little bits that I've forgotten, and yes, I know the holding cell is the same concrete as this, that is planned. As far as I can tell, that is this facility pretty much done. Let us just double check on the guard patrol. So we have a guard patrol going on each of these bits. We have a guard patrol in the shower and one in the yard. We have a one walking up and down the main corridor. And then we have a guard and dog unit in here as well. We currently don't have a focused yard time, which is a bit of a shame. Um, what's troubling is that we don't have a dog unit around here and I'm not too sure what I can do about that I could have a dog patrol on the right up and down there I could set one over here I could put one around these corners but instead I think there's the best because between the yard, the canteen, and this, they're always going to be passing one of them, I think. I think that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Right, so we will just get some more phone booths put in, because as you can hopefully see there, they are in high demand. Which is normally the case anywhere. We'll just put loads of them in. We don't need that many. I mean, everybody can go on that. I, yes, hang on. You know what? I've, I've just sort of hit the nail on the head. We don't need that many, so I'm not going to put that many in. I'll place them ones there. The ones we've bought will sit in storage or outside or whatever, waiting for the rest of this one. Uh, we now have some more prisoners. We've got uh, Stokel, Fearless and Volatile, Tough and Stokel, Gang Member, and one, two, three unknowns. Do we have... Um, oh, that gang member has had their rating increased. I'm going to put them to normal. And that's something that I didn't do. So let's change that. So as you can see, if you if you uh, have serious injury, um, originally it would knock you up a grade. And murder would put you to the max grade. Well, we don't yet have any place to put those. So I'm going to remove them. Let's see if there's any confidential informants here. No potentials, no. So, yeah. Um, ideally, we want that set as it was. So if you do commit any serious crimes like that, then you should be upgraded. But because we don't have this building done yet, then we can't do that. Right, so we have, I think, done most of this. You can see we've now got some more phone booths coming in. Before we leave it there for this episode, I'm going to connect up this phone tap system. Now, remember, phone taps, you can only listen to one phone at a time with the taps. So, my plan is to have a phone tap for every, every sub prison. So, this one, this one, and this one. Obviously, they'll be slightly different in size, but we put these in for now. Our intention is not to listen to all of these. That wasn't why we're putting these in. It's just so we can fulfill more needs. So we have a total of 68 prisoners. We, however, have... Protective custody 4. Do we have 4 protective custody prisoners? Do we? We have 3. 
Oh, sorry, yes, it's just protective capacity 3, maximum capacity 4. Okay, fine. Right, so we will leave it there for this episode. I think this is pretty much done. And I'm glad about that. Gang members, we now have one blue gang member, so we've got all of the gang members in here. We've got five red, three green, one blue. So, next episode, what we need to do is take some time out and finish this area off so we need to put the flooring in we need to increase uh, things like the armory uh, more security and that includes finishing off the protective custody putting some cctv in as well as some more patrols and all the flooring and also the automatic door openers because i think it's important that we get all of that and that means that the sub prison air or sub-prison medium edition, or normal risk, whatever you would like to call it, is complete. And the administration center block type thing, which allows for the running of all of these, is completed as well. Which means that when we go on to the next building, which is this one here, we simply build it and plug it in. All of the infrastructure is there. So we've got all of the security, all of the guards, all the armory, all of the... Um, extra stuff that you need so if we get if we get loads of prisoners in and some of them need protective custody bang they go in there um if they need to be plugged into security systems we've got all that there so all of the back end is done so looking forward to that one next episode as i said we'll crack on with that one as you have seen um we are pretty much sorted here but if there's anything i've missed out then by all means let me know we will go ahead and make these up automatic door openers uh, we'll put them in there so we do need to do that, but by all means, let us know in the comments what you think, and uh, any changes, suggestions, etc. Thanks very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.